I'm going to demonstrate a Chrome debugger feature called Restart Frame. It allows you to step back in your code and rerun the code that ran just before you hit a breakpoint. And that's very useful if your application ever gets in a situation that you wouldn't expect it to be able to get into. So you can actually go back in time and rerun the code that led to the situation it ended up in. I made this little demo app. Um, and when I click on Calculate Value, you can see uh, it calculated the value 20, but I expect it to be 16. So let's have a look at what's going wrong. So I open the debugger and into, go into Sources and enable uh, Pause and Exceptions. And this time when I click here, Chrome is going to pause because I have this assert call which says, okay, I want the value to be 16, uh, but it says, oh no, the value isn't 16, so something is going wrong. This function here just does some demo calculations. So we start with the value 6, uh, we subtract 2, so we get 4, we multiply by 3, so we should get uh, 12, and then we add 4, which should give us 16. Uh, but you can see the value actually ends up being 20, which is why we're having this issue. So what you could do is just set a breakpoint here, and then uh, continue, and then uh, calculate the value again. But actually we don't need to do that, because we can right click on the call stack, and then select restart frame. And that means Chrome is going to jump back to the top of the function and give us a chance to actually see line by line what's happening inside it. So let's go through this and try to find the issue. The first line is just a simple assignment in the value 6 after that, which is fine. The next line is subtract 2, which gives us 4, which is what we expect, and then we multiply by 3. Um, and that gives us 16, when we would expect it to be 12. So something is obviously going wrong with that function. And I can use restart frame again to have an even closer look at what's happening here. So I step over the other ones just as before, but this time I'm going to step into this function to see uh, what's wrong with it. And you can see that actually our multiply by 3 function is multiplying by 4, which is causing the error. And I can actually edit this in line uh, and then do command save, and then continue execution. And you can see this time around it just got the value that I was expecting. So there are a few uh, limitations to uh, restart frame because it doesn't completely reset your application state. So for example, instead of uh, setting the value in here, let's pass it in as a parameter. And then inside our onclick file, we pass in the value 6. Now when I click calculate value again, uh, I'm still getting the uh, exception because the value is 20, just as before, because we never actually saved our change uh, to the multiply by 3 function to fix it. And now if I try to reuse restart frame, you can see the value doesn't actually reset. So while our execution kind of goes back to the top of the function and reruns all of that, the value still stays the same and it doesn't reset the value to 6. So as a result of that, it just keeps growing and it doesn't really allow us to debug this anymore. But actually what we can do to fix this is restart the frame at a higher point in the call stack. So if we restart the on button click function, for example, uh, and then step through it, then we can step into the calculate value function. And as before, we can see what exactly is happening in it. 